lot of soul searching over the last four years. Friend of show, Ray Studios in the chat just said, it's almost the four year, we're like at the four year anniversary of COVID. And I'm like, four years already? Man, things have gone crazy since over the last four years. Thanks for joining. This is going to be on the Fanny Ass Willis trial and uh, Hardlands Media. What's good? Thank you so much for stopping by and commenting. We got YouTube royalty in here. Appreciate that. Everybody's royalty in here. Boring life. Christian, I see you. Thank you, Toy Mafia. And one of the things that I've been trying to look at is there's been a lot of tension in all different circles. And I've, it's, I've had to say this so often where I've talked to people and I said, okay, we got beef. Sabby Sabs and I had a little interaction. Everybody's have Tucker and, and um, Ben Shapiro, and it's just all over the place. I'll remember Megan Kelly when Candace Owens, they were going at it. And I've, I've had to say it many times, and uh, Trump supporters and DeSantis supporters and all these different things, and I'm like, wait a second. Uh, we, can have, we have to have these difficult discussions. But are you my enemy or not is something that I'm always looking at. And we're, we're at that point. We're at that point where we're looking at who's an enemy and who's not an enemy. That's just, that's, that's, now it's, it's not even debating that. It's who, and, and I mean this in a fifth generational civil war type of way. So no kinetic, no violence in that way. But this is a culture war, political war, religious war. And it's people who advocate for the eradication of my rights. That's how I define it. And may I always leave room to be wrong. I want to, I'll change that if I need to, but I'm trying to figure out, okay, if you advocate, any one of them, who gets to determine that? I do. I determine if you're advocating or actually if you're in DC, but if just if you talk about advocate, or even now I'm looking at apathy, if you're apathetic towards my rights, you're could be problematic and that's why i'm going after the blacks they ain't no friend of mine and if you support what's happening in fulton county right now you are a buffoon of the highest order and i'm seeing people some people online and obviously they are in a different circle than us here in this channel for the most part i welcome everyone but that's how these echo chambers work. There are people who support what's happening with Fanny. I'm not pronouncing her name Fanny. It is Fanny. It's too perfect. Fanny Willis, if you are supporting that, if you are advocating for it, and I'm trying to wrap my thoughts around if you are apathetic towards it, where, where do I view you? You are a buffoon of the highest order and you are advocating for eradication of my rights and that's through going after donald trump unconstitutionally i'm not voting for donald trump and i'm not getting off on that tangent now i've discussed why i'm not against trump supporters at all but i have a right to go to a ballot and decide not to vote for donald trump what they're trying to do is lock him up. We are beyond we are beyond regular discourse. This isn't 1980. We're not arguing tax code. We're talking about locking people up. We're talking about Letitia James. We're talking about taking people's money. This is well beyond anything. This is not political anymore. It's just straight up warfare. It's not lawfare. It's straight up fifth generational warfare. And it's i am grateful to see who clearly is an enemy and who's not this has nothing to do with left or right this had nothing to do with republican or democrat they had nothing to do with it either you're an enemy or you're not and you can see them using these black pokemons that we affectionately or non-affectionately call blackimons the democrat party uses them as their trainer and Fulton County, I didn't think we could see anything worse than Maricopa. What we're seeing here is Housewives of Atlanta, except it's 
it's the DA of a county going after Donald Trump in an overtly corrupt manner. The incestuous relationships of the judge to Fannie to the lawyers is unbelievable to watch. They all... You could see it in their faces. The judge was so uncomfortable. The whole trial, the judge was, you want to know why the judge was uncomfortable? So I'm just reading all this stuff. I'm, I'm still not an expert. I'm just reading the stuff and I'm trying to take time like when I'm at lunch from work and listening to the, I listen to every single word, believe it or not, of this hearing. And what's happening here is there's this motion to dismiss Fannie Willis from prosecuting. And I, I believe that would mean everybody under her, but I don't know how that works. Maybe you, I don't know if it's like a head coach, you sub her out and they could hypothetically keep the other ones. I know I have to look at that, but that's what it, it's basically saying. Let's focus on Fanny. Fanny Willis has a conflict of interest and she should be, uh, she should be dismissed and uh, disqualified from this case. It doesn't mean the case would stop, but it would, I mean, it's already really damaged. It's, but that's not the point. Why? How are we even here? And I'm watching the trial, and I'm going to get into this deep, but I just got to do my rant here just to get it off the chest here. It, there's so much. So the judge used to report to Fannie Willis. So I'm watching the trial, and I'm like, the judge is being really soft here fanny willis in in supreme dramatic fashion i'm not gonna lie this was she put on a performance that could win an oscar i'm not gonna lie it was it was an unbelievable i mean she's disgusting it's corrupt it's evil but there's some beauty there there can be beauty and evil and when she made that she made an appearance that was just unbelievable she came out of the side of where the camera was and she came out and they didn't even had they hadn't even called her yet so the lawyers are all arguing like i think there was object there's a there it was almost an objection after every question the whole trial it was insane i listened to every second of it the only parts i skipped were the lunch and the, the breaks and then she came out and they were debating i i forgot they were debating whether she should testify or not and she's up there like i want to testify and it was like something out of law and order it was it's i, I will say this it was unbelievable it was it's better it was better than any tv series i've seen since probably homeland i don't know if i've watched a tv series that i mean this was like a mini series it was captivating from the most captivating trial is it really a trial the hearing it was a bench hearing it was only a judge no jury there most captive i mean from from the first witness to the last which were the same guy i believe the first witness i saw at least unless i missed anything was terrence bradley which we'll get to he started and pretty much ended it there was another dude after that but man every second was captivating can't lie but what we saw here were people using the color. That's why I, have, I, I want nothing to do with this black identity. I want nothing. Just call me anything except for that. They're using the black identity. I can see why she did the church thing now. The whole church thing. And, and I could, she did it in a way to like admit that she was having the relationship sexually with Nathan Wade. But it was more than that. It was to show the judge. It was to show everybody, I still have these black people with me. So she did that church. We played the clip where she basically said, I'm not perfect. She didn't really come at it from a humble aspect, but it doesn't matter. Everybody there was clapping for her. And that, my take at that time was, and I still stand by it, is just look at the toxic black culture. If you have a healthy culture, you say, bitch, <laughs> well, maybe not in church, you don't say that, but maybe you say, don't bring that here. That's not how you get forgiveness. And 
they didn't do that. Nobody did that. They just clapped her and rallied around her. But now I saw the court and I see the relationships all in the courtroom. They all almost worship her over there. And she was, it was a show of power. And the judge was, he looked terrified of Fannie Willis. The lawyers did not do a great job. I'm going to tell you this. The lawyers did not. I don't know. It seemed like there were restrictions on topics of discussion that bothered me. Because the relationship between Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade, just quick backstory, Fannie Willis using, I believe it was, I don't, there was some debate about that. I read somewhere that it was using COVID funds in some part to hire Nathan Wade, but let me, I'll have to double check that. Fannie Willis hired Nathan Wade as a special prosecutor, not completely unqualified, objectively unqualified. That came up in the trial and the judge said you couldn't talk about it. I'm like, what, what, what is this, this? What was the motion about? They, they were so, I, I didn't even know what they could talk about. The, the only reason I care about the Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade relationship is because it's one of the many things that shows a conflict of interest and a motivation for her to prosecute Donald Trump. That is a conflict of interest meaning she needs to be up out of there it wasn't just that but it was many other things i mean she gave that interview for this book that just came out talking about how trump stole the election bitch you st well your county stole the election <laughs> they stole the election from the people and you know donald trump not getting the opportunity but they stole the election from the people and they were in part of it it wasn't just them but they were part of it that stole the election but then they accused trump of stealing the election and she did an interview for this book that just came out January 30th, that, and they came up in the trial, and they couldn't even talk about it fully there. So I'm like, this is crazy. They can't even really talk about what the true problems were with the relationship. And then after all that, it was so much to unpack.